Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Iwana TV. Guys, mimi mtakuja kuniua siku moja. Sasa, mhm, mm Paul Mackenzie ameenda akatweet kule kwe, kwenye tweet yake na hivi ndio amesema <laughs> Tomorrow I will perform some miracles here at our cells. Wanguze, waguze kila kitu yangu lakini wasiguze bibi yangu. It's now 21 days no sex, no food and thoroughly beating. Simu imechukuliwa na afande mapengo. Nitamuomba nita muomba tena jioni niendelee kupost. <laughs> Huku korokoroni Mahabusu hawana heshima hata kwa watumishi wa <laughs> Watumishi wa Mungu wanajaribu kunipapasa makalio nikiwakemea damu ya Yesu ndio wanapote. <laughs> Ai, pola tanimaliza mimi. Immediately I'm freed by these dogs. <laughs> I will hold a mega healing rally at Kasarane Stadium. <laughs> wakenya wa, wakenya wako na kiu ya neno la buwana. Eh, muna chokichezea amkijui na kitawaramba. <laughs> Endeleni kucheza na wana wa mungu Kenya. Nitaitisha moto, moto kwa baba yangu iwachome wate. I did not kill anybody. They were taken dead. <laughs> I did not kill anybody. They were taken directly to the event by Christ. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. It, by the way, it is not a laughing matter. Lakini uyu jamaa kili yake ni kama punguwan. I am... I have died and resurrected seven times at Shakahola Forest since June 2022 after fasting to death. Wakenya mujui muna chocheza na choradi na kuncha. We, wakenya ni watumishi wa mungu muna eka korokoroni wakuliwa na kunguni, chawa na maabusu karibu mwezi mzima. Moto utashuka kutoka mbinguni hivi karibuni. Haya, I did not sell my TV station to anyone. I gave it for free to the servant of the Lord, Pastor Ezekiel. Then I disappeared in me. <laughs> I disappeared to Shakahola Forest. Eh? <laughs> Wa Kenya, hii vita, hii vita yetu sisi wote waaminio. Fungeni barabara mpaka ni achiliwe ni endelea kubiri neno la one. <laughs> hey, Kenyans, kindly sing and pray tirelessless mpaka hii milango ifunguke. <laughs> Ata Paul na sila walishinda, niombeni yaki uku siyo kuzuri. Haya. It's however, oh, iko hivyo. So, anasema ye ye, aku uwa mtu. Aya, so, nataka tusome comments kidongo kidongo. Aya, aki maabusu wa wana eshima, eti wanapapasa mtu mishi madusko. Aya, ui anasema, you mean kunguni ni mahabusu, wanakuramba kinyambizi. Aki, ndi, ndi, nondi itei, na bado, na bado, utarambwa, Mpaka msolo Uyu ya nasema kitawaramba Kitawaramba Uyu mungina nasema Sasa unataka kusema maabusu sio wana wa mungu Na by the way wakati ulikufa na ukafufuka Ulikuwa umezi kwa shakahola forest Ama nijibu please Mungine hapa nasema is he aware Kenyans are baying for his blood? Well, by baying, I did not understand that. So, ma apa ma comments? Apa zikona nini ma comments mingi mingi? Yuzile zenye 
siwezi tamka maneno zingine kwa sababu hapa si unajua YouTube quality guidelines so yeah that is what he tweeted akasema yeye anaomba tu simu anapost alafu anarudisha anarudisha ana simu akasema bibi yake pia ako huko alishikwa wanaendelea na kufanyiwa investigation aya akasema huko kuna kunguni chawa alafu mahabusu wa huko au waogopi watumishi wa Mungu wanawashikashika wanawapapasa papasa huko nyuma alafu akasema nini ingine yeah that is what he said akasema mumuombe ati yeye aku aliuzia pasta Ezekiel TV alafu aka disappear so anasema tumuombe yeah so guys my question is hii kazi yote ni pasta Mackenzie alikuwa anafanya ama alikuwa anasaidiwa na kina nani who had the real owners of Mackenzie Alafu kitu kingine mbona serikali itaki kushika wahusika wote kwa sababu najua yani unajua you guys you guys it's like you are not understanding mtu wenu alipotea miaka nenda rudi kumbe yeye alienda kuomba kwa pasta Mackenzie aliomba mpaka akakufa ndio haone Mungu yani guys you are you are not getting guys you are not getting this thing and watu wenye wamekufa already ni 201 wenye wamekuwa exhumed. Hebu niambie hao watu walianza kuzikwa lini? Kwani hapo hivyo shakahola karibu hakuna MP, hakuna governor, kuna zile nasikianga zinaitwa nyumba kumi, hakuna mzee wa nyumba kumi, hakuna chief. Hawa kwa ama ama hiyo ni cemetery. Yaani ni kama langata ama what is it because i'm not shikanishani ring i'm not shikanishani nini unajua guys you guys i just want you to open your eyes what imagine mtu hata hata wanafukua ni mili mili zinafukuliwa za nini zikafanyiwe postmortem what for And I know hii ni kitu imebeba oh, oh, the government of Kenya is included mimi siogopi wanikujie I know some politicians are included I know some pastors who are included there I, I don't want to mention anybody anybody's name but hii kitu pastor Mackenzie ni kama tu ni broker ni mtu tu wa mkono ni kama tu mtu wa mkono hata maybe hata hiyo shakahola forest sio yake Eh? My friends, let me tell you something. Au watu walikuwa wanasafa. Imagine wewe unaweza kaa kama mwezi mmoja hujakula ama wiki moja, wiki moja maybe unaweza kaa. Lakini hao watu, imagine una fast mpaka maji uwezi kunywa hata kama ni dry fasting. Lakini they they were stupid. I'm sorry to say this. How can you be told you have to fast for for you you have to fast till you die for you to see Jesus. Ati ju ati dunia inaisha. Wewe ulisikia wapi? Ni ni verse gani imeandikwa hivyo kwa Bible? Lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom perishing our young souls. Eh? Mackenzie mwenyewe alikuwa na fast ama alikuwa anakula juza hii amemaliza 21 year 21 days hapo jela anafaa kuwa amefast asipewe chakula pia yeye afast vile alikuwa na watu huko mimi hata yani hii serikali yetu sijui nakaanga aje that is a very serious matter guys unacheza na hiyo hiyo miliyote inafukuliwa hapo na maybe hata hatujui kama zingine zishaoza kabisa kabisa azionekani We uta, uta, utakuwa unasikia ati watu wetu walipoteanga bibi yangu alipoteanga na watoto wangu kumbe wao walikufianga shakahola wakazikwa wakaoza jamani um, even yani mimi hata najiuliza hata watu wakienda huko kuangalia watu wao huko mochari after sasa kufukuliwa si wanapelekwa mochari hata we will you be able to identify your people hmm? Will you be able to identify them? Nani watu? Aha, yani guys, why now? Eh. Yani, yani it is very painful, guys. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuwaomba wa Kenya, sio wote wamtao bwana bwana wataingia katika ufalme wa mbingu. 
not everyone you have to trust in this planet earth not unless you go to planet mercury or neptune or pluto or any other planet apart from this planet earth this pastor you are seeing here in social media my friend don't trust them just trust yourself and your almighty father who is an is at heaven even if you see your mother going to somewhere no tell him no mom don't go there tell he tell her tell your father don't go there hmm kwa sababu unaona sasa hao walisema wao wanaenda shakahola yani hata watu walikuwa yani hii kitu ni kama ilianzia mapema mapema sasa mapema kitambo sasa yani mapema hata sisi hatujui nasikia huko kulikuanga na security tight ukionekana tu ukitaka kuepa you were beaten to the point of death And I think guys as these people they were like sexually abused by speed by devils. Hmm? Ni kama walikuwa wanakunywa damu. Eh? Yaani mimi nilikuwa naona wale watu wenye waliokolewa hapo wenye walikuwa wamebebwa na hiyo bus. Yaani mtu hata hezi tembea. Hata sijui kama wali survive ama walikufa. Jua hata unatoka huko ujui mtu alifa were they possessed like uh, 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 Yaani ni nini? Yaani ah, yaani hata uwezi elewa kitu. My friend uwezi elewa kitu. Yaani mtu ametoka huko akiwa hai, ajiwezi, uwezi jua alifanyiwa aje, saa hizo hata hajulikani. Si huyo mtu atakufia tu hospitali. Juu ukiwa ukiwa na watu wako hapo huwa wanakushughulikia haraka haraka wakiona hiyo hospitali ushughulikiwi haraka wanakutransfer unaenda hospitali nyingine. Hmm? But this is our government they know what is happening in Shakahola. So zingine let us try to speak the truth and I know some people are, uh, I know their names. I know their names guys. Hata ni watu wezi imagine kama ni wao. Hii kitu msione ati Pastor Mackenzie ati yeye ndio na ndio maana mnaona hata Pastor Mackenzie yeye hata ashtuki yeye ako tu rada ya kushinda akicheka cheka huko. Kwa sababu he knows everything. Ile siku uh, Pastor Mackenzie atatanja mtu mmoja tu wa serikali ama maybe pastor mmoja ama bishop ama nani. My friend that is that will be the end of Kenya. Hii kitu imebeba watu wakubwa wakubwa. Wewe unafikiria hiyo ni forest kubwa? I'm very sure that is the that is not the land of um Mackenzie. And if kama ni land yake kuna ile business nyingine ilifanywa ndani ndio sasa makaburi yakaanza kuchimbwa imagine makaburi yanachimbwa ya watu wanazikwa without their people without their family concept as in unazika mtu au upigi simu uambie watu wao ona tumezika mtu wako hapo guys think about it anyway subscribe to our channel Don't forget to like, share and turn on the notification bell. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Bye for now guys. I love you so much. Take care and may God protect you. May your dreams come true. May what you have been praying for be answered in Jesus name. Amen.